Hey, time to go grab all the Bud Light from Walmart, bro. Fate is the latest album from your favorite band to hate, Five Finger Death Punch, released on February 28th, 2020. So many people claim to hate Five Finger Death Punch, but if you don't have at least one song on your workout playlist, you're lying. Every genre has that one band everyone loves to hate. Easy to pick on the low-hanging fruit, come the easy punching bag, but of every joke. With the bro-fisting lyrics and repetitive nature of the music, it's hard not to see why, but like I've stated in one of my past videos, some formulas are just better than others. So how is the eighth ingredient in the FFDP formula? Let's find out. Instrumental opening and an effective one at that. It does a good job of amping you up and just putting your mindset in the right places. The transitions from violin to guitar are actually pretty seamless. It finishes building up and just transitions straight into a pretty solid actual opening song. Heavy main riff and the violin riff plays on into the bridge of this song. The chorus is pretty stereotypical death punch, vocally at least, but the riff and drums during the chorus are actually pretty nice. The lyrics here are also not as straightforward as normal. Nothing deep, but not bad. It's a song you'd expect, but better than their other formulaic songs. All in all, good song. More of a electronica guitar style riff here, but still good. The verse is one of them pump up kinds that go into the melodic chorus. Again, this one just kind of works better than they normally do. I think it's the flow that comes together pretty great here. Songs about not being able to change the world and laughing as it crumbles away. Also, the solo is pretty tasteful. Ends on the electronica riff, goes full circle. Slow jam time, slow, thick jam. There's some actual clever play on words in the verse and the pretty nerdy chorus. The lyrics overall are pretty nerdy in this one. The song does the opposite of having the heavy verse and then having the clean chorus. Not enough bands do this. Unforgiven is the most famous song for doing this, but it, I don't know, it's a good formula. Again, formulas, another tasty solo. It's short, but it's nice, strong song here. Five Finger Shearing Punch? Chuck, they done it in an acoustic pop song. What? Then the chorus hits and it turned into a Nickelback song. I'm so confused. I still like it, but it feels weird. Guess it's just a little bit off. This song could possibly have the worst chorus in Death Punch history. It's annoying. Otherwise, the riffs are good, the drums are good, I'm good. Okay, here we go. Time to freaking groove out. The opening rift is nasty. Then it goes away and I'm sad. I feel alone. Okay, enough title puns. It's once we're through the generic talking verse and melodic chorus, the rift comes back. The verse also has somewhat of a country cadence to it. The song has potential but falls short after being overall pretty generic. But that one riff, man, damn it, wasted. This one's pretty meh. Has a good run though during the main riff. Lyrics are straightforward. Can't be the celebrities you want to see. Wanting to be that. Finally snapping and ending that dream once and for all. It may be a little off, but it sure seems like it's that. Nothing really special here. This one is good. Death Punch Ballad, but with kind of country inspired lyrics. The good chill out song from them. It's actually pretty deep brought back the wrong side of heaven sort of wordplay in this one. Pretty sure there's a reference to that album in here. The song seems to be very personal and it comes through pretty strong. Don't let the outside world influence you too much or it might end you. You are beautiful as you are. You are strong. I resonated pretty well with this song. It's gonna become a regular listen. Time to pick up the pace once again. Non-stop here, going for a pure crowd pleaser. It's the stuff you expect from them when they want to be fast. Fun stuff, be somewhat generic to their standards, but it's still fun. Whether you focus on headbanging, moshing, or both, 
Also, the second half of the song actually lets loose. It makes the song go from good to almost great. Not much to say here. I feel like they went with deeper subject matter here, but it didn't hit right to me. Maybe it's the music that didn't fit well the tone they were going for. After a few listens, it may change, but for now, it's a skip for me. Again with the fast groovy times. Transitions nicely to a slower bridge, then a slower, nice melodic chorus. You know how they almost all are. The chorus ends with a slight dud with the normality of, you know, saying the song title at the end of the chorus. Usually that works out. It kind of throws this one off. It recovers quickly though. The solo section has a good groove to it and the drum beat's actually kind of different from the norm here. It has a good, it's a good rhythm. Other than the one small blemish, we like you. We like you a lot. Is this one of them 50 shades I heard so much about? Love songs brought to you by FFDP. Some bands, even when the song is good, it's hard to take a love song seriously. But in this case, I think you should. It's cheesy, but who cares? Just enjoy music, damn it. Riffs, riffs, oh glorious riffs. The first time I heard this song, I audibly went, ooh, this song kicks ass. It's up there amongst my favorite song from Death Punch. It's the first song on this album that I got right away of, I want to learn how to play this. I get the image of you jumping around the crowd, just looking down and alternating your hands up and down. Possibly my favorite from the album. The title suits this song quite well. It sounds like older Death Punch, I mean older Death Punch, both lyrically and musically. If you haven't listened to them in a while, this might actually be a good starting point to reintroduce you to the band or introduce someone new to the band. Maybe it should have been the opener, just as long as my therapist doesn't have a big old bloody handprint on their face. In closing, this is a pretty good outing from Five Finger Death Punch. Some are saying it's their best so far. I wouldn't go that far. War is the answer is pretty hard to beat for me. It is, however, I would say a good introductory album for someone new who wants to get into Five Finger Death Punch. That way they have like two or three albums that are better than this, I feel. And start in the middle, work the way up, and yeah. What I'm trying to say is, give it a spin. Thank you for checking my review of Fate from Five Finger Death Punch. Comment below any albums you think I should check out, I'll check them out. Click up here to check out my review of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Click up here to check out Ordinary Man by Ozzy Osbourne. Click over here if you'd like to subscribe. Give that bell a nice five finger death punch to be notified of any of my future videos. Till then, name's David. You can call me Fenrock.